On the 19th of November 2012, about 10 days after Boss Trail had passed, a man in his 30s named James Holman was standing in front of his apartment when four men reportedly exited a nearby apartment building and approached him, at least one of them opening fire, hitting Holman in his forearm and chest, with these wounds later proving fatal when he was rushed to hospital. The shooting happened in the 6000 block of South Michigan Avenue, which is in the heart of 600's hood. This immediately raised the question, who, other than people affiliated with 600, would exit a building in that area before immediately shooting somebody? This question particularly particularly arises when you know the fact that Holman was an alleged member of the Gangster Disciples, apparently being better known in the streets as Lil James or Baby J, with him also allegedly having ties to the MOB set who 600 and their affiliates such as Oblock were in a bitter feud with. Moreover, the deadly duo King Von and T-Roy would once again begin their tradition of seemingly implicating themselves in the murder on social media, with Von clowning somebody only 20 minutes after Lil James was shot, continuing later that night by tweeting that he was killing GDs often, followed by a now infamous deleted tweet where Von outright claimed that he had killed 5 GDs and shot 10. Meanwhile, T-Roy would seemingly clarify who the Oblockians were clowning by asking if anybody had gotten shot yesterday. Von would also seemingly match the description of the shooter in the police incident report, although this likely doesn't prove much given his rather average height and weight. However, once again, there would also be other suspects, including members of 600 such as Bitedown, with rumours circulating of three murders that he was suspected of committing. Another suspect that was considered was M-Thing, the brother of prominent 600 member D-Thang. But whoever may have been responsible for James's death, Death. The fact is, King Von was arrested only a few days after for unlawful use of a weapon. Von would end up behind bars for over a year, leaving his best friend T-Roy alone in the streets of Chirac to continue waging war against his ops. And allegedly, while Von was gone, T-Roy would end up committing several more murders before he himself would ultimately end up losing his life.